Take me into the beautiful Won't you take me back again With the love unexplainable Come and fill up this dry land Let it open our eyes To see how a world we've never seen Let it open our hearts up To feel you inside of us You hear us out of me Here's the rug. We did four pieces. One, two, three, four. I just sewed two pieces together. Here's the seam line. Here. Here's the seam line. Okay, I'm going to show you how to sew the next two together. You take each section and push it back. Push it together. If you ever wanted to take it apart, you would just undo the knot. Okay. But it's permanent once you put the backing on. So what I do is kind of even it up as much as you can. And then you select a nice starter point here. 
get two. And then tie a knot. We're going to flip it over, get in close. I'm just going to take each part of each piece, going down through here. Here's the seam. So I'm going to take one long, nice long piece from one side and find a compatible one on the other side. All right, so I've got one of each. And then I start making my stitch. I'm going to tie it twice. I'm going to get another. Here's one, and here's one. Push it together. Okay. And I just continue to do that. Make, as, make them as close as you can as you go. And if you see any that's fallen through, just pull those up. See how you kind of like stitch that together? One on each side. Okay, we have our two pieces here. This is four sections. I had four students that worked on one of these a piece. And when one student would finish theirs quicker than the other students, then, then I had that student help another student and then eventually had three students that had finished and then they jumped in and helped the last student do theirs and so these four pieces um, two become one and then then two become one again so we okay now we're gonna we're gonna start sewing ours together and make one large rug so what we have is our pieces sewn together and we're gonna begin again just like we did before so we'll take these two large pieces and we'll push them together just like so and in a minute we'll have one large rug. Okay, I'm just about through with my two places that I grab each on each rug. One on this side of the rug and one on this side. And so what I do in doing that is I tie them together and they'll be together. There's nothing that will take them apart. I tie a knot once, and then I also tie a knot twice. So I almost, I got all this done right here. All of this is done. Even though we've got different colors going on and the children grab different colors, they're, they're mingled through this whole thing. So I just keep going. If I lose my place, I just go in there and find a good spot to begin again take on each side and I'm getting really fast at this when I get down to the end and then I start seeing a good place finish this is a lot of fun okay see some of the really exciting pieces we did see how pretty that is it's really nice okay Kind of getting down to the end, like here's the end, but I'm still not done. Still got to keep going. Okay, this is not even, so we don't want to do that. So it's better to get the place where it's more even. So if I need to skip through, see these two places are even. See, when I actually tie it, it's even. We're kind of to the corner now. We're getting to the corner, so we want to get a good spot at the corner. Here's a, a nice one. Here's a nice one. All right, so we'll go ahead, tie those up. We need one more good one. We'll take that one and this one. I think that's going to secure it good on the corners. Okay, looks like we're done. So, let's take a good full 
view of the whole thing. This was four pieces. Okay, so now we are at the stage where we can add our backing. So we've completed the rag rug and I've turned it face down and these are the layers that I've added to the back. I taped it all, all the way through from all edges in the center everywhere. I put this type of tape on it. Just real cheap and get it at Lowe's. I covered it to keep any of these from pulling through and then the next layer is your foam backing that you can buy from a hardware store. Um, I got it, it's probably a quarter of an inch or or something around in there and so I put that on the top I just laid it down on there and then the very final layer is like a burlap and I bought it I think it was at a Hobby Lobby so what I decided to do was get some heavy-duty cord and I got a needle and this needle is a Susan Bates finishing needle and so I threaded the cord and then I started to sew and so I'll show you a few stitches that I'll have here just stitching a little bit as I go stitch there and then I stitch up through the foam push it and then I push in through easily through the burlap so once we get all of that stitching done get a few of these we complete it We're almost and give yourself lots and lots of thread because you want to go all the way to the end almost there got a couple of stitches to go and I just go through the edge of the mesh try to find a good spot that I know will secure it real well and then I go through the last little bit of foam and the last, probably my last stitch. And then I'll want to attach it to this last cord. And I'll probably reinforce these cords together with some Gorilla Glue just to make sure my knots are good and strong. Now this is not something that you could wash in a wash machine, but It'll be a really nice decorative rug. Let's turn it over. Nice rug. Just cut any edges you have and you're ready to go.